Hi, this is Tom White from Horizon Productions, and today we're going to be doing a very simple text tutorial, which looks something like this. So it's a cool kind of smoky fade-in effect. Now before we start, I just want to say that to do this, you're going to have to have at least a very simple understanding of how After Effects works and know your way around, because I'm going to be going through everything quite quickly, and I'm not going to sit there explaining all the basics. If you do want basic training, then go to videocopilot.net slash basic, which is very, very good tutorials by Andrew Kramer. Uh, he's, he's really, really good at After Effects and teaching you how to use it all. So anyway, this tutorial. Right, we're going to press Control N to create a new composition. We'll just call it Text. So for about six seconds, it's a good title. Length. Layer, New Text. Just type Horizon, or title of your film, or whatever. Um, effect, noise and grain, fractal noise, which starts to create the smoke effect. Uh, right at the beginning, we'll click this, which makes keyframe. And then we'll set it to minus 75. So as you can see, it disappears. Uh, we'll go to about two seconds. Go to two seconds. And then set it to zero. So now, We'll fade in like that, and then we'll go to four seconds. And then we'll have to go down to here, effects, fractal noise, and take this one, which is a nice keyframe. And then set, go right to the end and set it to minus 75. So it fades in, stays there, fades out. Okay. Now the next one you're going to want to do is go to complexity. Oh no, not complexity, sorry, evolution. And take it right at the beginning, make sure you're at the beginning of the composition. And then go right to the end. Now you'll notice there's two numbers here. And it's very simple. Basically, what it is is, as you go round, this number is the degrees. And once you get to 360, it changes to one. And basically, like what, what that one means is it's one revolution. So if you go around again, then it'll be two, and three, etc. So basically, if you click it there and type two, then it'll have done two revolutions, and you don't have to sit there going round and round and round. And it's just a very simple way of doing things. But basically, what the evolution does is sort of evolves the fractal noise to make it move and change the darker areas and stuff okay now there look you'll notice there's still a little bit of fractal noise there so you just take the brightness down to the point at which it disappears go right to the beginning just check it okay now the next part is when you do do the brightness you'll notice that there's still the these grey outlines and so what to fix that really easy. Just close the effects box. Open transform and set the opacity keyframe and take it right down to zero. And then go to about one second so you don't miss the fade in. But you hide the lines. So it fades in and you don't have any lines there at all. And it fades in and then fades in with the text. And then go to about five seconds, set the keyframe, go right to the end and go zero. So that will fade in. Let's just make that bigger. I made it bigger there by pressing the, num uh, the button next to 1, not 2, the other one. And then, so you'll notice that it kind of, if you hold page up and page down, that's changed next frame. And so it sort of changes. Okay. Now the next part, you could leave it at that, that's fine, if you wanted to. That's the look you're going for. But what you could do, if you, if you press, um, no, if you go effect, color correction, hue and saturation, and you take the colorize box, then you'll notice that that's changed the text color, or text, uh, change the fractal noise. And if you go hue and move that around, then it changes the color. So if you go on there like blue, and then if you do color saturation and take it right up, then that's the that's how sort of well saturated the color is. And if you take it right down, then there's just going to be no saturation at all. So you can have little subtle hints of blue, or you could have completely full blown blue. Now, what you can do, what you could do is control D, which is duplicate, and for the second layer you're going to turn it on. Okay. So it fades in like that. But what we're going to want to do for the second layer is go down to transform and grab these two keyframes from the opacity and go to about two seconds, which is the point it fades in, and then just have these fade in here. So basically now what it'll do is it'll fade in as this gold, uh, this uh, silver colour, and then it'll fade in as the blue colour, and then everything will disappear. 
Now one thing to note is that the edges are quite rough. So one thing to fix this, it's really simple. You go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur, or any of the blurs, it doesn't really make any difference. And then do a blur of about 0.5, just so it really it kind of smooths the edges a bit and makes it better on the eye, sort of thing. Okay, that's pretty much it, to be honest. You could uh, always mess around with this, you know, you could go stylize glow and it adds a glow and then you could take threshold down and that adds more colour to it and so forth. And then you could fade it in and mess around with that. But yeah that, that's uh that's pretty much it. So it's a very unique text that you can use for your titles for your movie or credits or whatever you want. Anton White from Horizon Productions.